one of the few gifted actors who's able to reinvent himself with every role. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our top 10 favorite Gary Oldman performances. He said, go back inside. Number 10, Jean-Baptiste Emmanuel Zorg, The Fifth Element. Kicking off our list is one of Gary Oldman's most memorable villainous roles. In this 23rd century sci-fi spectacular, he plays the flamboyant head of a tech corporation who moonlights as an arms dealer and sports a southern accent, soul patch, and keen fashion sense. My favorite. Even with the bright colors, he manages to make this eccentric character menacing. Number 9. James Gordon, The Dark Knight Trilogy. Oldman adds depth to the long-established comic book character and seamlessly transitions from honest beat cop to police commissioner. As Gordon, he comforts a young Bruce Wayne after he loses his parents and bravely teams up with the Dark Knight before sorrowfully agreeing to hunt down his friend to keep Gotham from falling into chaos. Not the hero we deserved, but the hero we needed. Nothing less than a knight. Don't let the subdued performance and well-trimmed mustache fool you. Oldman brings heart to the series. Number 8. Congressman Sheldon Runyon, The Contender In this politically charged role, the famously apolitical Oldman plays a zealous and balding cigar-smoking Republican congressman who is out to destroy the life of a female Democratic vice presidential nominee. As a ruthless politician and chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, Oldman spreads disturbing rumors while opposing the candidate's liberal ideology and proves he is able to play anything. Your refusal to deny this uh, report of sexual deviance will not have an effect on this uh, committee or whether or not it votes to advise and consent to your nomination. Number 7. Sid Vicious, Sid and Nancy in his breakout role, Oldman gives a fierce and captivating tour de force as Sid Vicious, the hooligan and punk-rocking bassist of the Sex Pistols. Oldman presents an unapologetic madman and force of nature who is destructive and passionate, both on stage and off. Admit it, you wouldn't have recognized Oldman if we didn't point him out. And that's just the way this cinematic chameleon likes it. Try and damage! <laughs> Number 6. Joe Orton, Prick Up Your Ears Oldman seamlessly transitions from a punk rocker to his next role as a witty and gay playwright. Our star takes on the personality and appearance of Orton, who is both incredibly charming and painfully unfeeling. My plays are about getting away with it, and the ones who get away with it are the guilty. It's the innocents who get it in the neck. But that all seems pretty true to life to me. Not a fantasy at all. I've got away with it so far, and I'm going to go on. Thank you. As he cruises subways and public bathrooms for his next sexual thrill, Oldman's character convincingly tortures his lover and collaborator who comes to resent Orton's very existence. Few actors could portray this eccentric character, let alone inhabit his unusual lifestyle. Number 5. Norman Stansfield, Leon the Professional Oldman plays a crooked addict and DEA agent who has no qualms about gunning down entire families while listening to classical music. I like these calm little moments before the storm. As a twisted suit-wearing psychopath, he spouts memorable lines and makes us believe he's unhinged and unpredictable, yet oddly charming at the same time. You're a Mozart fan. I love him too. I love Mozart. This is one of the greatest bad guy roles ever put to celluloid. Number 4. Count Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula. As a boogeyman that comes for his victims in the dark, Oldman is completely mesmerizing under his terrifying cinematic mask. His characterization of this literary legend is based on the original screen vampire Nosferatu and deserved an Oscar. Not only does Oldman reinvent the legendary role, but he also makes it his own with subtle eccentricities that shine through the makeup. Forgive my ignorance, sir. I am uh, recently arrived from abroad and I, I do not know your city. Seriously though, what's up with the hair curlers? Number 3. Rosencrantz, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. Oldman gives one of his lighter and more comedic tours on screen as one of two minor actors in Shakespeare's Hamlet. He plays a character that bubbles with hilarious monologues and deep contemplations about fate. Yes, there are answers to everything. You forgot. 
No, I haven't. Oh, I used to remember my own name and yours. Oh, yes. There are answers everywhere you look and is always game for a coin flip. This genius eccentric inadvertently invents such things as the hamburger and paper planes, plus he enjoys playing made-up philosophical sports like questions tennis. Number 2. Lee Harvey Oswald, JFK As with most of his roles, Oldman goes underappreciated here as the man who commits one of the greatest crimes in United States history. This is among Oldman's favorite screen roles, as he was given carte blanche to recreate the character on his own. After studying fiercely for the part of Oswald, Oldman plays the infamous figure as a coy rat pleading his innocence. Nobody has told me anything except that I am accused of um, murdering a policeman. His physical similarity to Oswald is astonishing, but Oldman also nails the many subtleties of the character. Number 1. Drexel Spivey, True Romance Taking the top spot on our list are the six minutes of screen time that we feel best showcase this actor's pure talent. Oldman transforms himself into a scarred, ghetto-talking, dread-wearing pimp who is both funny and ferocious. <laughs> you must have thought it was white boy day. <laughs> yeah? It ain't white boy day, is it? With his foul mouth, leopard skin robe, and gold teeth, anyone else would have presented a mere stereotype. Oldman takes the persona to new places without ever letting it become laughable. Do you agree with our list? Which Gary Oldman performance is your favorite? For more great top tens, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.